Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas. Oh Christmas tree. Oh Christmas tree. Been wondering just what you mean to me. Oh Christmas tree. Honestly. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day 15 of Vlogmas. I am going to be giving you like a little what I got for everyone. So if you are my mom, Jonathan, or anyone in Jonathan's family, please just skip over this video and move on to a different one because I don't want to ruin the surprise. And yeah, see ya. So this is kind of like the bare minimum of my Christmas shopping, but I thought I would share with you what I got everyone and all that good stuff. And then tomorrow's video, I'm going to wrap everything and just kind of have like a little chit chat and I don't really know what else, but Today I'm going to show you what I got. So, I did some shopping in person and some shopping online. Of course, Amazon, my go-to. But first, I'm going to show you what I got at Hobby Lobby. For no other than the DIY queen herself, my mother. So, as you guys know from my DIY crafting video, that's all she does is craft. And she has a Cricut and she has all kinds of like vinyl and iron on like rolls or whatever. So, why would I not buy her more? Because they were on sale at the Hobby Lobby. So I got her a purple one because it's her favorite color and it's shimmery. So I thought that was super cute. And I also got her two of just like the clear adhesive stuff that you like put it on to stick it onto whatever surface because she literally has to use this for everything. So I figured I would get her two of these and then I got her one color just because she has a ton of colors already, but this one was cute and it was on sale. So I was like, why not go ahead and get her that? So with that being said, she has a crap ton of those things and she just has them in like a little tote right now. And she mentioned how she needed somewhere to put them all. Well, of course they make something for that. So I bought it and it looks like this. And you just like, it's just like a thing. You just stick it together and you put your vinyl in it. And I may buy her another one if this works. But I didn't want to buy a lot and then it'd be like super flimsy and not serve the purpose. So, yeah. So, I recommend if you have someone that loves to craft, loves to do art, anything like that, buy them art supplies. Like, it could be paint. It could be paintbrush. It could be the simplest things. But if you know that they're crafty, like, they're definitely going to use them. So, buy them that. The next store I went to was Home Goods. And I got stuff for Jonathan's sister and for his dad. And, like, honestly, these are super practical gifts. So, his sister, pickiest eater I know, right? Loves pasta. So, I bought her a bag of pasta because it was literally $2. And I know that she'll use it. And it will also be kind of funny. So, I bought her a big bag of pasta. So, that's fun. I mean, she can cook it, you know, eat it. Because this is literally all she eats is pasta. So... Food. Always a practical gift, especially if it's something like that that isn't going to go bad within, you know, a couple weeks. You can always buy them food because nobody wants to spend money on groceries. So, food or a gift card to the grocery store, that's always a good idea too. I know I personally love grocery store gift cards because some of the stuff I want is expensive and I can't justify spending my own money for it. So, also, everyone has to eat. So, why would you not? That's like the perfect gift, especially for people that just moved in to their new house or live by themselves or whatever. Like, give them grocery store stuff. So if you know that they'll eat and that they'll use. So I got her that and then I also got her, oh, they wrapped this thing up good. I'm gonna have to unwrap this and wrap it back up. That was stupid of me. I also got her this candle. It is um, flower petals scent. But it smells so good. It's just a two wick candle. But it's cute and she has candles all over her house. And she lights them all at the same time. Doesn't care. So I was like let's just add to the collection. Because I know she burns through them like crazy. So I got her a candle. And it smells so good. I wouldn't really say that it smells like flowers. It kind of smells like perfume a little bit. But it smells very good. And I would love for my house to smell like that. So I bought it for her. And then the last thing that I got at Home Goods was for Jonathan's dad. And I just bought him this 
six piece set of food storage because every time I go over there when we make dinner there's never any Tupperware because he has like three and they're always full so I bought him more and these are glass so they're probably they're not too heavy but these are oven safe up to 400 degrees freezer safe and dishwasher safe so I thought this would be cool because if he just wanted to make a little small thing like he could put it in the oven and cook it so it's safe in all of the elements so and it was only seven dollars so i got him this and honestly i'm gonna probably use it more than him but that's all right because you need food storage so with that being said if you know someone that loves tupperware me you can never have too much tupperware i'm just saying all shapes and sizes you can never have enough some are dishwasher safe some aren't there's so many different options tupperware is always a good idea like i'm serious i would love tupperware for christmas also anything like kitchen related especially if someone loves to cook or they do cook a lot getting them things like like a new knife set if you are willing to spend that kind of money or new um, pots and pans or just like another thing we got him was a dutch oven because that's another thing he wanted so things like that like a cast iron skillet things that most people would use if they had it but they don't go out of the way to buy it for themselves things like that are always a good idea always um like coffee mugs that seems super basic but things like that you can get them personalized um tumbler cups you can get those personalized you can never go wrong with cups i literally take a cup with me every day to work so that is always a good idea anything for the kitchen always a good idea so next is jonathan's gifts um honest to god i don't know what to buy him this year he is so picky he wants new clothes but he's so picky so I'm just gonna like take him shopping probably and also we're going on a trip together just like a weekend getaway so that was kind of our present to each other but I still wanted him to have a couple things to open on Christmas so I ended up getting him a um six foot phone charger I just bought it on the Apple website but he always complains that his phone charger that came with his phone is too short it doesn't reach up his bed so I got him that I know he's gonna love it he always takes mine so I got him his own so I got him that. Anything technology, headphones, um, AirPods are the thing. Those are really expensive. But if you're willing to spend the money, AirPods. Bluetooth headphones are a hit because they don't have all the cords hanging down. Um, any kind of like phone case or like protective case, screen um, protectors, those are always good. They might not seem like they're that important, but they, they will definitely use them. So a lot of times those are really cheap. So definitely phone cases or screen protectors, those are always a good idea. Or six foot or they even have 10 foot chargers i don't know if they sell them on the apple website so maybe be careful with those but long chargers those always are a great option because why not um i use mine literally all the time it's so much easier than having to like sit right up at the wall um so any kind of phone accessory or computer accessory if your friend or family has a computer that they use a lot of the stuff on my list was computer attachments and camera attachments so just make sure you know like what kind of computer or camera or phone they have before you buy it so that it's not completely useless. The next thing I bought Jonathan, which is another super practical gift and kind of I'll benefit from this too, is pillows. I bought him a memory foam bamboo pillow. I actually got two because his he has a queen bed so two is like takes up both sides. His pillows are like this flat and they're so uncomfortable. And I have this pillow at my house and I found them on sale for like $10 a piece and usually they're super, super expensive. So I got him those because I know he will use them and we can throw those other pillows that suck away and my neck won't hurt after I sleep there and all the good things like that. So I got him those pillows. Honestly, I did not get him anything else. I think when we go to Boone, which is our little weekend trip, I'm going to buy him some stuff that he actually likes he's gonna know what everything is but i would rather him know and i know that he likes it than get him random stuff that he's gonna end up never wearing or never using so pillows i don't know some people are into that even like decorative pillows if you know like what their color schemes and stuff are you could always get like a if it's a girl you could get them like decorative pillows or sheets i was gonna buy him sheets but we're about to move probably soon so i didn't want to buy them and then us not ever use them that actually might be another thing I go get him. So we'll see. And then the last two things are these Amazon boxes. One is for Jonathan's dad and one is for my mom. The one for Jonathan's dad we all pitched in on. Um, me, Jonathan, his sister, and his sister's boyfriend. We all pitched in on it. And we bought him a Roomba. It's an off-brand one because we did not have $400 to spend on a Roomba. But 
We bought him a Roomba because he has four dogs and they shed like crazy. And he's always complaining about how he has to like sweep up the dog hair and all that stuff. So we got him a Roomba. We're going to see how it works. And he has two floors to his house. So maybe if he likes it, we may get him another one. But I'm not sure yet. So we got him a Roomba. So again, anything cleaning or house supplies, things like that. They might seem like stupid gifts and like all that good stuff but they're really not like people will use them people are going to clean their house at some point and cleaning supplies are expensive all that good stuff is expensive so 10 out of 10 recommend cleaning supplies anything for the kitchen any kind of home decor any kind of like pillow sheets things like that because you can never have too many pairs like sets of sheets because when you wash them if you don't have another one to put in its place then you're just going to have no sheets on your bed so definitely sheets um, I haven't opened it yet, and I don't think I'm going to open it. I think I'm just going to wrap it in this box just because I think it's just sitting in here, and I'm not going to be able to wrap it because it's a circle. So I'm just going to leave it in the box and give it to him like this. I may open it and make sure it's what it's supposed to be and then, like, tape it back up and just leave it in this box. But that's what this is. We got him a Roomba, and I'm sure he's going to love it. Also, me and Jonathan asked for one on our registry for our wedding, so... I just have heard lots of good things about them and this one has super good reviews. I'll link it down below in case you're interested in it. Um, but it wasn't too expensive and we got it on Black Friday so it was on sale. So that wasn't too bad. It was only like I think $170 and then we split it between four people. So it was fine. And then I have this big box that's really heavy. So either what I got is a lot bigger than what I thought it was or there's just a lot of stuff in here. I don't know but I got this for my mom and it is one of those things it's like a Theragun but again a cheap version because those are like 500 bucks and it's like a little gun thing that just like punches your muscles and like loosens them for sore muscles. My mom has really bad like neck aches to where they cause migraines so I thought that she would love this. Again this was a cheap version it had super good reviews though I'll also leave the description for that in the description below. I think she's really gonna love this. This one was like a hundred dollars instead of like five or six hundred dollars and I think she'll really like it. Again I'm gonna open this later to make sure it's what it's supposed to be but I'm really excited about this gift because I just thought of it last minute. And then the very last thing it has not come yet. It has shipped but it's not here yet. Me and Jonathan had no clue what to get for his mom so this was another this was a personalized gift. I bought it on Etsy. I'll link it down below. Um, it is a canvas and I sent in two pictures of her dogs because she has two dogs. So I sent in pictures of them and then they did like a digital art type thing and they're pu putting it on a canvas and it has, has their names on it and stuff. So I thought that would be super cute. She could hang it up in her house because she has tons of pictures and stuff like that hanging up. Um, so I thought she would really like that. It was personalized and I knew she didn't have it because she's the type of person if she wants it, she's going to go get it for herself. So I thought of that. It was a little bit pricey, but I think it will be a great gift. So again, anything on Etsy, 10 out of 10 recommend. Everything pretty much can be personalized and you're supporting small businesses and small people that are just trying to make it in this world. So I'll leave the description down below if you guys want to check that out. And I'll also insert a picture right here of what it's supposed to look like once it gets here. This is just like a digital download, but they are sending me a canvas. I can't remember what size we got. But we are just, this is what it's going to look like. So that is what I got for my mom and for Jonathan and his family. I'm not really shopping for anyone else just because I'm not going to see anyone else this Christmas. And I don't really have the money because I spent it all on this and we are trying to get our house. So I'm trying to save as much money as I possibly can and all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this little gift haul and I hope that I maybe helped give you some ideas for your friends and family. I know that it's super close to Christmas but all this stuff except for two things I got in the store. So you could very easily go and get it yourself as well and I'm sure that they have Roombas and these little um, muscle gun things in the store somewhere too. I'm just honestly not sure where or if they'll have the off brands. So I would definitely look before you go. But yeah that kind of concludes this video. Um, I hope you are enjoying Vlogmas and I hope you will stick around and see the rest of this. I don't plan to miss any more days so hopefully I will be able to stick it out and make it through and all that good stuff. But yeah that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video and you want to see more Vlogmas content make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and I will see you guys again tomorrow.